Hi guys, so today's video is going to be showing you how to have an easy date night at home. Me and my boyfriend love to go out and have date night, but we also love to stay in and cook together. So today we're going to show you how to make our go-to pasta bake. It's really easy and yummy. Also my new favorite cocktail, which is a Moscow Mule. And then I'm also going to be showing you my easy date night at home makeup look. So let's get started with that. I'm gonna go in first with my Benefit Porefessional Primer. I, you guys know I love this stuff. It just helps the foundation go on better and fills in all your pores. Then I'm taking my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint in Linen and my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush and just blending this in. I don't want anything too heavy tonight. I just want something to even out my skin tone. Then I'm going in with an under eye concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in uh, Fair, I believe. I love the stuff. I just run it down my nose as well and around my nose where I get redness. Then I'm going in with my Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki Brush to blend that out. Then I'm going to take my Honey Bronzer from The Body Shop and this Morphe S19 Big Fluffy Powder Brush and I'm just going to warm up the face a little where you normally contour. I love this bronzer, it's very light, I use the lightest shade and it's amazing. Then taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just dusting it on my chin and forehead with a Real Techniques Powder Brush where I get oily. Then I'm going in with my favorite blush ever. This is NYX Mauve in a Real Techniques blush brush, and it's just the best color for whatever you're doing. If you're wearing a lot of eye makeup, if you're not wearing a lot of eye makeup, it's just a really good flattering color. Then I'm taking this Becca Shimmering Highlighter in Opal, and I'm also taking this Baby Beauty Blender. It's so cute. I got the Beauty Blender damp, and I'm just kind of pressing it onto my cheeks, and it's such a beautiful glow, guys. It's amazing. And then today I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in light or soft brown or something like that and I'm just going to use the spoolie end first to brush out my brows and then of course switch over to the pencil end and just fill them in. I love this pencil, it's the greatest brow pencil I've ever used. And since I'm not doing a lot of makeup tonight, I always like to have the brows nice and structured so that it kind of fills out the face. Then I'm taking my Milani Clear Brow Gel which is cheap and from the drugstore but it does its job and it makes your brows stay in place and I love it. Then for the eyes, I'm going to start by priming them with, this is the uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion, that's what it is, and I'm just going to put that all over the lids, rub it in, and we're going to go for a very easy eye look today just because I am having a date night at home, so I don't have to go all out. I'm going to go in with my new favorite eyeshadow, this is MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Always Sunny, and take this Sigma E40 blending brush and just kind of dust it into the crease, kind of really messy. I love this color for my skin tone just because it allows me to have a definition in my crease without using too dark of a brown. I'm in love. So I'm just doing that. Then I'm taking my favorite eyeshadow of all time, All That Glitters by MAC with my MAC 217 brush and just kind of dusting that on the lid where the other brown didn't hit. I think these colors go really well together and it's been my obsession to wear them both at the same time lately and I love it. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend out the edges so that we don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm going to of course curl my lashes. This is a Chanel eyelash curler. It's really dirty. And then I'm taking my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara in black. It's my favorite mascara of all time. I recently picked up the black shade. I usually use the black brown shade, but I am loving it. It's the greatest mascara ever, and uh, yeah, it is. And after you get that onto your lashes, you are done with the easy makeup look. As you can see, it's just very easy, basic, I'm at home makeup, and I love it. I hope you guys do too. So now let's get on to the cooking. We're going to be making this amazing pasta bake. Me and my boyfriend make it all the time, and it's so easy. So I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. First thing you're going to need is some pasta, and I just prefer brown rice pasta just because I feel better about eating it. Then I'm taking this bruschetta sauce from Trader Joe's, which is just basically tomatoes and garlic. Then some ricotta cheese, any kind you want is fine. Um, some pesto, basil pesto, it's so good, just for some extra flavor. Some shredded mozzarella cheese, some marinara sauce, it could be any kind of marinara sauce you want. We're not going to use a lot of it, but we do need it. And yeah, you're going to want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and boiling a pot of water. First start by pouring your pasta into the water to let it boil for about 8 to 9 minutes. And this is optional, but we would like to throw in some ground turkey into it. If you're a vegetarian, you can leave this out, but just heat up a pan, put some oil in it, and just cook up your turkey until it's browned. If you, again, if you don't want to 
eat meat, you don't have to put it in there. It's just something extra. And we like to season it with this Mrs. Dash onion and herb stuff. We put it on everything. And since the turkey can be a little bland, we just put a bunch of that on there. So once your pasta is done, you're, you're going to drain it. And don't be worried about that foam stuff if you use brown rice pasta because that's normal. It happens every time. But then we're going to drain it, put it right back into the pot, and add the turkey to it as well once it's done cooking. We're just going to throw everything in this pot before we bake it. Then we're going to take the bruschetta sauce, which if you can't find this, just use marinara sauce and maybe add some garlic. But if you can, it's amazing. I'm just going to dump in the whole thing even though it was giving me trouble, but it's so good. Then I'm going to take about, I took like three heaping spoonfuls of ricotta cheese. Just kind of eye it with how much pasta you have. You want it to cover and melt through all the pasta. And then about two tablespoons of pesto just for some extra flavoring. It's so good. And then take a little bit of our shredded mozzarella cheese and just put it in there. And then we're going to mix everything together. Then you're going to want to take a baking dish, and I wish I could tell you the size of this, but I can't. So just any kind of shape of a baking dish will do. And you're just going to spoon some of the pasta in there and flatten it out. So we're basically going to be laying this up, layering this up kind of like a lasagna, but not as complicated. So we put in our first layer, and then we're going to take that marinara sauce and just kind of spread it in between layers. And this is so that when we put it in the oven, it doesn't like dehydrate and make really like hard, crunchy pasta. So we're going to do that first layer down and then do the second layer of pasta. Again, just spooning it on, flattening it out, making sure we hit all the corners. So it really is just like a baked pasta. It's delicious and so easy. Once you do that, you're going to take the rest of that marinara sauce and just spread it all over the top, getting all the corners and just evenly disputing it. And then we're going to take the rest of that shredded mozzarella cheese and just sprinkling it over top so you have a nice cheesy melted crust. It is so good. And after you do this, you're going to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until the cheese is nice and golden brown and melted on top. Now while that is in the oven, we're going to make our cocktail, which is a Moscow Mule, and it is my new favorite drink. So first we're going to need some ginger beer, and it's non-alcoholic, which I think is weird, but whatevs. Um, some vodka, which don't mind our cheap vodka, that's just what we have around, and a lime. And we're going to start by cutting our lime in half. And this is normally served in a copper mug, but I don't have any of those, so we're just going to serve it in a pink cup from Target tastes just as good. So we're going to start by filling up both of our glasses with ice, same as any normal cocktail usually starts with ice. Then we're going to put in some vodka. I think you put about, it looks like about like a shot and a half, but put out however much you want in there. Um, and then we're going to fill the rest of it up with the ginger beer. And this is so good. I am not big on the taste of alcohol and I love this drink. Like I can't get enough. I know I should probably just have one or two, but you know, I want 14 of them. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But also squeeze a half a lime in each drink, mix it up, and then it's going to be so good. If you guys like the taste of ginger, try this out because I waited too long to try it and it's my new favorite. Uh, here's Bradley uh, looking awkward and <laughs> gonna enjoy the drink, of course, because it is delicious. And then after 30 minutes, our pasta is done. The cheese is melted. It is ooey gooey and delicious and amazing. So just scoop some of that up on a plate. We like to usually eat ours with um, some like dinner rolls or something. Our favorite is the Parmesan rosemary rolls from Trader Joe's. They're so good. And we are enjoying our cocktail. We have dinner at the table. We talk. Uh, sometimes we do have the TV on, but whatever. Sometimes we just talk and giggle and eat. And we love to do this. And it's really fun. So if you're tired of going out to dinner, try making this at home with your boyfriend or your husband or whoever. And you will love it, I promise. And then after dinner, we usually cuddle up on the couch, watch TV or a movie or just talk and giggle. And yeah. So thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Ooh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we will see you soon. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Love you.
<laughs> this looks good. You could look at the camera, you know. <laughs> mm. Let's see you enjoy that drink. Okay. Ew. <laughs>